What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making his debut on the channel tonight. Tonight. We have Colm Wilkinson. Yes, indeed. How about that? Colm Wilkinson making his debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Dasi Potadai, and Dasi Potadai wanted to see me react to this song by Colm Wilkinson called Bring Him Home. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, Wait a second. Uh, yeah, this sounds familiar. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Enchi93. Sure, why not? And the video has 5.9 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Home Wilkinson, bring him home. Oh, okay. It's from Led Mr. Up. You know, I can't believe I'm going to admit this. I've never seen it. I've never even heard it. I've, I haven't seen or heard anything from Les Mis. Uh, kind of embarrassed to say that, but I, 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 I swear to you, I have it. I need to. Everybody keeps telling me that if I'm gonna see another musical, th this is the one to see. And I'm like, well, that's great. <laughs> When's it coming out to LA again? Ah, I don't know. 720p, yeah, we'll see about that. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Young. 
little bit. Um, great vocal performance. Just a fantastic vocal performance. His his delivery, his attacks. There is no. There is no percussion to his attack at all. It is just smooth entrance, just so subtle on the on the on the entry that the swell in. You can't. You hear him come in, but there's never that attack. You know what I mean? That you would hear like an instrument, an instrumentation, for example. You're gonna hear when a note starts, like on a piano or on a like, like well for the harp, for example, that we're hearing accompanying him. That's that's there's your percussion is happening within the harp. Uh, it, it man alive. Yeah, I I I'm kind of speechless. Uh, his delivery, his 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 control of his dynamic delivery, especially knowing just how much to come in, and more importantly, how to leave uh, on that curve, really nicely done. Now I've never heard the song before uh, in its original, you know, theatrical release or anything like that. I I'm going completely on what I'm hearing here. If it sounds like this. In the musical, um, I get the feeling this is a very poignant part within the scope of the entire story being told. Um, it sounds like an important part. It, it does. I mean, it's not. It's not grandioso. It's not big. It's not bombastic. It's very, very subtle. But I have a feeling this is a key point. I could be wrong. Those of you that have seen the musical, tell me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But it, it, maybe this is just, you know, th th maybe the song's filler. Maybe it is. But I, I'm i not getting that vibe. I'm getting I'm getting the vibe of this is important. And, and the reason I'm saying that, more than anything, is the amount of attention <clears throat> that he's putting into his delivery is... It's... At, <sighs> I know this is going to sound weird, but it the amount of attention he's putting into his delivery and into his attack and into his 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 dynamics, something the way he's doing it and the amount of attention he's putting on it and the cleanliness of the execution of it because the song is so subtle from an instrumental standpoint, this this is screaming importance to me. So, I I don't know if I'm right in my assumption there or not. But I, something tells me I am. Let's keep going here. need this
He knows he nailed it too. He knows it. He is dead faced. He's just walking back. He's like, yeah, that's right. I just did that. <laughs> he knows he nailed it. Um, I was not expecting the waterworks. I was not prepared. I didn't have my didn't have my trusty Planet Waves polishing cloth ready. <laughs> uh, that kind of caught me off guard. So that's that's interesting. Um, not a lot to talk about, but the, the things that we are going to talk about are they're important. So I'll try to keep this short. I will, but. I'm not making any promises. <laughs> um, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Colm Wilkinson with Bring Him Home. Uh, apparently this was a song from Les Miserables. Uh, and this was a request from Dasi Podidai. Okay. Um, I'm ashamed to admit this. I, I've never seen Les Mis. I, I keep hearing about it. And I, I've seen a number of musicals, and, and people have told me if, if, there's an, if I'm ever going to see just one more musical in my life, it's got to be Les Mis. And I'm not disagreeing with people. I'm not. It's just I, I, I need to be able to... I need. There needs to have a production come out this way. <laughs> out to L.A. so I can go and see it. Um... I, I do fully acknowledge, though, I do need to see it. I, I know there was a movie. They, they did a they did a movie. It was the musical done on film, basically. And I know there is, but it's one thing to watch a movie. Okay, I'll give you an example. Watching the movie The Phantom of the Opera, right? You can watch it. And listen, they did a fine job with the movie. I'm not trying to describe the movie. It sounds great across the board. I have no complaints about it at all. There's just something about seeing it in person. It, when you see it in person, there's just, there's this connection that you just can't get watching the movie. It's like going to a sporting event versus watching the sporting event at home. Hockey, for example. You can watch hockey at home and you'll enjoy the game. Yeah, sure, no problem. But it's not like being there. You can watch a football game and you'll enjoy the game. Yeah, sure, no problem. You watch it at home in the comfort of your own home on your couch, but there's not, it. you're missing the atmosphere. You're missing the energy that there is in the stadium. You know what I mean? So I, 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 I don't know, man. I just, I mean, the, the, the movie's there as, as an option, but I would personally go rather, I'd rather go and see it in person. Um, I don't know anything about, I, I know the story of Les Mis takes place around, I think it was during the French Revolution, I think. I, I'm not 100% sure about that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I don't know the context of this song. I don't know where this is within the musical. I, I get the feeling, I get the vibe that this is a poignant part. Like this song within the storytelling, this song, I get the feeling sets up something big, something huge, something that's going to set the mood and tone for the rest of the, of, the, of, the, of the story, the rest of the musical. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but some, and I, I probably am. I'm probably reading too far into this, but something just tells me that this song, the song itself isn't that important, but what it's, what it's portraying within the story sets up something big. So I, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know, but I just get that vibe from the music and from the delivery of the song. So, um, speaking of the delivery of the song, let's, I, 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 I'm going to get to calm in a little bit. I promise. Okay. But let's talk about that orchestra. Wow. 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 What a great orchestra. Um, the conductor really understands this song. He really does, apparently, because the way he was able to get the delivery that he got out of the strings, out of the woodwinds, out of the harp player, even. The harp player kind of taking the role of percussion in this song with their with, with the attacks on the strings, really getting a nice percussive attack with each, with each strum. And, and that sounded really nice it, with each pluck and each strum, it sounded really good. 
Uh, no need for actual percussion on this song because the, the harp player is providing it. Um, the way the strings in the woodwoods would enter very, very softly with like triple P in this amount. Uh, the, the old triple P, you know, if you're musicians, you read sheet music, you know what I'm talking about. The old triple P. Uh, and then, you know, gradually crescendoing up into the swell. And then just as it hits the apex, it crowns and starts to come back down again. Just as smoothly, not jarring in any way, shape, or form. Just nice, smooth transitions from triple pianissimo all the way up to, I don't know if we ever actually got to forte. I think the loudest we ever got, honestly, was mezzo forte. And then bringing it back down all the way back down to that triple pianissimo again. Dear Lord, nice work on the conductor's part and nice work on the, on the orchestra's part with their execution of the song. Um, very well done. Fit exactly, exactly with what Colm Wilkinson was doing. Uh, I never felt like the orchestra ever stood out above him. Um, they were always matched up exactly the way they should be, from what I could tell, from what I could hear. Now, let's talk about Colm Wilkinson. Okay. I don't know anything about the guy. <laughs> I really don't. I suspect he's a tenor. I suspect he's a natural tenor. Um, I didn't hear him go up into head voice. It, everything sounded chest voice to me. Everything did. It was well supported. Uh, great tone. Great projection. His diction. And more importantly, okay, his diction was great. Don't get me wrong. But more important than his diction, his vowel formation. Wow, there was no doubt. There was no doubt when he was singing an O and when he was singing a U. There was no doubt when he was singing an E and when he was singing an I. There was no question at all. His vowel formation was outstanding. His vibrato. Now look, I'm sure he is a classically trained tenor. I'm sure he's had instruction for years on how to do this properly. But not every vocalist does this. Even those who claim to be professional vocalists, don't always do this. He was doing his vibrato properly. I was watching his midsection. I was watching his abdomen. And uh, when he would vibrato, you couldn't help but notice the very front of his, of his, of his, uh, his tuxedo was just ever so slightly moving forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, right in line with his vibrato. That tells me he's doing his vibrato properly he's doing it here not here and i it, you could tell the difference man you could absolutely tell the difference i didn't even have to look i could hear it but it doesn't hurt to get that visual confirmation you know what i mean his tone outstanding his dynamic control was outstanding uh his entrance is an what really blew me away about this more than anything else I mean, don't get me wrong, when he was singing Mezzo Forte and he was projecting and supporting, it all sounded really good. When he would enter, when on his entrances, it was literally like taking the volume knob and turning it up ever so slowly. There, you couldn't hear a distinct attack with his vocal delivery. You, when, when he would enter, you didn't hear a... You didn't hear that, that that little percussive hit. You never heard it. It was just smooth as glass. You don't hear that very often. You really don't. This guy really understands how to utilize his vocals. He really does. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know anything about the guy. I don't know if he's famous or world renowned. I, I, I'm sure he's he's he must have done something because they wouldn't ask him to come and perform this song. Uh, in front of an orchestra if, if he was, you know, a Johnny Nobody you know, associated with the Never Will Be's. So I, I'm sure he's done great things. I, I'm, I'm sure he has. I just have no idea what they are. I'm sure people in the comments will let me know. Uh, I, I'm sure they will, and I got no problem with that. I, I, I'd like to know who this cat is. Um, but yeah, very impressive. Very, very impressive. And that's why on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 9.4. Yep, 
9.4. You heard me. I didn't stutter. That is the score I feel this song and this performance deserves. I've already told you all the reasons why. Why? So I really don't see any need to go into all that again. Uh, I will say this in closing. I did give it an extra tenth of a point. I, I, without this factor, there was this would be at a 9.3. I am giving it a 9.4 for the emotional uh, side of the song. I, I it, it, it caused an emotional reaction with me. It did. I do not have waterworks very often on the channel. Contrary to popular belief, I don't cry at the drop of a hat. But uh, this did elicit an emotional response for me. It absolutely did. One, I was not prepared for. I wish I had been. I would have had my trusty Planet Waves uh, guitar polishing clock handy and ready. Thanks again, Planet Waves. Love your endorsement. Um, well, Diodario in general. I love I love Diodario products. I'm endorsed by them and I appreciate them. Uh, Planet Waves is part of it. So yeah, I, I love Diodario. But I would have had my trusty Planet Waves polishing cloth handy if I was if I had known that it was going to elicit an emotional response for me I wish I had known I had to reach over and grab it right in the middle of the reaction I felt terrible but boy uh, yeah yeah it, it definitely got me off guard it absolutely did so uh wasn't prepared for that wasn't braced for it and as a result uh it was a nice little surprise so yeah I bumped it up an extra extra tenth of a point for that so yeah and I I'm not ashamed to admit it absolutely not so anyway, 9.4, I feel good about that score, and that's where we're gonna stay. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We got 9.4, which is an amazing, outstanding, impressive job. It would give five out of five stars and an A plus letter grade. There you go, take your pick. I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make a difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.